Okay, so we're exactly one month away from iOS 17 developer beta one and Apple can no longer go without giving users exactly what they want on their iPhone. This just can't happen again, right? There's so many requests for new features on the iPhone for many years and iOS 17 just needs to deliver this time around. I mean, I wanna show you in this video a few demos, I guess you can call or jailbreak tweaks that I think Apple should take and integrate within iOS 17 in about a month from today. So let's just dive right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now I want to start off with the lock screen. Now to be fair, Apple has added quite a bit of improvements, new features to the lock screen to customize it in many ways. A lot of the features that many users have been wanting did get added to the lock screen. However, there's always room for improvement. Now this year it is rumored that Apple will be bringing additional features to the lock screen, maybe the ability to share your setup and your wallpaper, an easier way to delete the actual wallpapers and setups from the lock screen with a new grid view. There's also a new rumor that Apple could allow maybe additional fonts, the resizing of fonts, and maybe also the Apple Music lyrics could be coming to the lock screen of iPhone. But as I mentioned, there's always room for improvement. One thing that many iPhone users have always requested is the ability to actually change these shortcuts on the bottom of the screen. Now this year it is rumored that the flash will remain, but the other side where we have the camera, I've always asked Apple to change this because when you press on this side, you have the camera, but when you also swipe to the right, you have the camera. So basically you have the same action on the same location of the OS, which doesn't make a lot of sense. Hopefully Apple will allow this year for customers to customize the extensions on the lock screen because it's something so simple but many iPhone users have been wanting for quite some time. Now shifting my attention over onto the home screen because there's quite a bit to improve here and there's many features that iPhone users have been wanting for years. Now for example, widgets. Of course, widgets are nice. They introduced with iOS 14 but Apple hasn't really done anything major with widgets. They just sit there, you see information and that's it. However, many iPhone users ever since the introduction of widgets on the iPhone have been wanting interactive or dynamic widgets. Now, for those of you that don't know, you can tap into this button right here. As you can see this jailbroken iPhone, I can start playing a song, pause a song, go forward to track, backward to track. It is just so simple for Apple to just integrate this within the widgets of iPhone, maybe add additional sizes, interactive widgets, additional widgets. For example, the home application should definitely have widgets in interactive or dynamic widgets as well. It is something that many iPhone users have asked for for many years and I think this time Apple just needs to deliver. This just can't happen again. Interactive or dynamic widgets need to be within iOS 17 and let me know what you think about this one. And now another one that I always hear is the ability to add additional apps onto the dock. Right now we have a limit of four. It's always been a limit of four applications on the dock. On the iPad, that's a little different. Of course, there's a bigger display, but many users have requested the ability to have recents show up on the dock of iPhone. And I'm one of those users that would love to see the most recent applications show up on the right side, just like they do on the iPad. It is something I've been wanting for quite some time. So hopefully change the dock up a little bit, allow most recent applications or even a folder that shows the recent so it doesn't take too much space from the dock of the iPhone. And now the number one thing that many iPhone users have been wanting for so many years, ever since I can remember, is the ability to lock individual applications using Touch ID or Face ID. So for example, take a look here. If I try to launch the Notes application, this is a Face ID device, it's gonna ask me for Face ID. I can't launch that app unless I use Face ID to authenticate. And again, Touch ID devices will work the same way, of course, with your fingerprint, you authenticate, and the application will launch. Now, this is a second layer of additional security for your iPhone that many iPhone users have been wanting for I don't know how long and it just can't happen again. Apple just needs to add this feature to the iPhone. It is something that many users have been wanting and Apple to be fair they've listened to some of their customers over time but these are some of the things that Apple just needs to add and last but not least the ability or the requirement 
of Touch ID and or Face ID before you power off your iPhone. So when you go to power off your iPhone, you can just go ahead and turn it off like normal, but before it completely shuts off, a Face ID or Touch ID prompt would be essential. So this way, of course, if someone tries to steer your phone, they don't have, of course, your Touch ID or your Face ID, they can't power off. That way they can't go and steal your phone without you having the ability to find it on the Find My Network. And this would also be great if Apple Apple would add it onto the airplane mode. So before enabling airplane mode, request touch ID or face ID authentication. That way, again, if someone tries to steal your phone, they can't go into airplane mode without the face ID or touch ID. That way you can still track your phone. So there's even more rumors that Apple will continue updating the Find My Network application and the Find My Network itself. The wallet application is rumored to be having a nice UI lift. We also heard that Apple will be changing the health application as well. And a brand new journal application is rumored to be coming to iOS 17 as well. And there you guys have it. These are some of the things that Apple just needs to change this year and add to the iPhone with iOS 17. It's just been so long. It can't continue happening. This can't happen again. Apple needs to add these features to the iPhone. Let me know your thoughts in those comments down below. Thank you for watching today's video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.